An annual celebration of Wilbur's Czech culture is happening this weekend. Channel 8's Bailey Bischoff checked it out today. It's Czech days, and that means Wilbur, Nebraska's Czech capital, is celebrating its heritage with kolache, traditional dress, and a whole lot of people. Wilbur's population is about 1,800, but on this weekend it swells to almost 50,000. For many of them, coming to Czech days is a lifelong tradition. Doris Orecki has been every year since it started. I was there for the very first one, and I've been there for all of them, 56 years of them. The first year, she says they didn't think anyone would come but 10,000 showed up and it's grown ever since. She says the town has too. It's check days because our young people are coming back and realizing that it's really kind of special. Cheryl Waracek is one of those. She grew up in Wilbur and says she hasn't missed a check days yet. Always watching the parade and always expecting the alumni band to come through. I was always excited to see that. And then I was in the parade when I was in band and now I'm part of the alumni band. Wilbur's Czech Days is also home to the Miss Czech Slovak USA pageant. Last year, Fremont native Michaela Steger was crowned. She says her Czech culture is a part of who she is. I bake kolach with my mom, and I bake apple strudel, and I sew kroy, so it's almost everything that I do. She, too, grew up going to festivals. I think my first memory of Czech Days was when I was about six years old, wearing kroy and watching all the queens and their crowns and dresses, thinking how cool it was. She spent the last year being an ambassador for Czech culture. After all, that's what this weekend is all about. We're here to learn about our heritage. We're here to learn about heritage, culture, have great food from our Czech heritage. No matter why the visitors come, Dora says one thing is for sure. It's hard not to have a good time. I just love it. And you, you love meeting the people. You meet such neat people. And it's just awesome. Dora says this is a weekend that takes all year to plan. Just as soon as this year's festivities are over, they start planning for next year. Reporting in Lincoln, Bailey Bischoff, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.